It's amazing. It just feels like it's such a celebration of London and how far the city has come and how it's really taken the people on the ground to get it to where it is now. And that is really what the movie's about. It's about community coming together against all odds. It's about finding those moments of joy and, and unity and um, and love. You know, that's really what this is. It's like the Second World War is the backdrop to a family drama, essentially. And um, that's who we care about and that's who we're following. So, yeah, I'm just really excited for people to see it. I was really excited about the idea of playing someone who had a child. Um, I, I value my relationship with my mother so much and the fact that not only I was getting to bring that to life on screen but that that was going to be the main focus of a film set during the Second World War excited me. It was so fresh, it was so um, unique unfortunately. that This is the kind of story that should have been told more but um, the fact that we're one of the first to do that is just, it feels very special. It was great, I mean I've actually, I've sang a couple of times in movies over the years but it, the first one was in the very first movie that I did that no one saw and then the other one was a tiny film that Ryan Gosling directed which not many people saw either so I've always really loved it but it does make me really nervous so I did like lots of um, vocal lessons ahead of time with an incredible vocal coach and that was really my main prep for the movie you know we didn't rehearse that much so that was kind of my way into the character and I loved it it was great did Paul, you know what the thing is about Paul, he's so modest, so I, and even I remember when we went into Abbey Road to record it and he was like, oh what was that bit again, and I'd be like, it's this, I was like such a teacher's pet, I was like, we do it like this, then we do it like this Paul, okay let's do it again, um, but no, he was just very supportive, he was great. It was incredible. I'm a huge, huge fan of his. I was about to take a break that year because I'd been working steadily through the whole year. And I said to my agent, the only way I, I will go back to work is if Steve McQueen is making a movie and I can audition for it. And that's exactly what happened. So um, I feel very privileged to be a part of this film. It feels special, yeah. In my hometown, such a brilliant company, of course. Steve's uh, you know, an icon of cinema. So to be here in, in, in one of his... Um, uh, products and you know company is amazing it's a it's a real special feeling yeah particularly because the film's about you know working class family and mother and son so yeah really lovely I mean he he's a stickler for authenticity you know he really went on a very specific journey with the historical accuracy of the film I think he was really concerned with depicting a story amongst a tumultuous time that stay true to the the family element of it as well and the, the, the reality of what was going on you know uh, amongst the uh, the tragedy and um, to highlight that racism and and yeah he's uh, he's he's he's, a, he's the best man for this he's, he's done a beautiful job yeah yeah I play Jack who is the neighbor of Saoirse he's a firefighter so I had to go uh, on a massive journey learning about that element of the period and understanding what that meant to take part in that and be called upon that at a time like that. But um, yeah, I mean, he's really a supporting character and yeah, I'm just happy, lucky to be in the company of these guys, yeah. It means a lot. I mean, you know, it means a lot because, you know, I've been very fortunate to debut films in you know, Cannes and Venice and Telluride and Toronto and et cetera, et cetera. This film for me had to be premiered here. I mean, look, I was lucky enough that they wanted to premiere here, first of all. I mean, th this site is where, you know, bombs, you know, landed and exploded. The, 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 the bridge right there, a, a very large explosion happened. So to be here premiering this film couldn't be more apt, could never be more apt than this. Well, so many things, but the, 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 the actual initiator at the end of the day was a photograph of this, of this boy, this black, black boy, Standing on a railway station with a large suitcase, waiting to sort of be evacuated. I mean that, and I wanted to know who he was, but also I wanted to know, in a way, what he saw, how he experienced the Blitz. Well, it was kind of in the script. It was kind of like trying to sort of conjure up, not even conjure up. It was what would happen, and to sort of represent it on screen. It was a very sort of a organic uh, sort of, um, how can I say, way of sort of uh, working because it's it, it, a nine-year-old child, a mother, him be, being evacuated, it creates a lot of, uh, how can I say, um, emotions. Well, Paul is, it brings a kind of authenticity. 
you know, he's, he's a man of uh, conviction and I just, I just thought he, he had an amazing face and that he, he will be able to act. So I was grateful that he took up the role and uh, it was a little bit of persuasion, but and what a job, what, what an amazing job he did. Um, I mean, he's mixed race, I'm mixed race, and um, he experiences racism and bullying throughout the course of the film and that has happened to me before and um, I can share my story with that and he's brave, I'd say he's quite brave and I like to say I'm brave but um, some of the things he does is just extraordinary. He has a special love for his mother and his granddad because they're kind of the only people he has. So if you ever need someone to look to, then that's the people who look, he looks to. I mean, I have a special love for my mom and my dad. I mean, I love my granddad as well, but I think that's some of the similarities. Um, I don't think we're that different if I'm being honest, you know? Um, thanks to the stunts crew, they weren't scary, especially some things that look scary on screen, they were really fun. And they supported me, made it fun to do. After shots, we would do a little playing around. And um, yeah, the stunts were probably one of my most favorite things about filming Blitz. So uh, we had the lanyards, and all the time people were wearing jackets so I could get a lanyard with a crocodile clip and stick it on their jacket and see how long it would take for them to notice that they have a tail and that was something I really enjoyed doing. Um, Sasha was really like playful. She's my mum in the film and she was just like a mum on set and it kind of feels like we were the same age in some way and even though we had just met each other I felt like we'd known each other for a very long time and I'm very grateful for the way she treated me. And Steve is very... He really wants to do this film. And even though that he can be serious at some times, he was always leaving room for fun because I was nine. And he was really encouraging, supportive. Like I could be in a scene and be like, come on George, you could do it, you know? So Steve was just a really nice guy, and so was Sasha. Sasha was really nice. Um, so obviously the film is about racism, what people experience during World War II, and how we should all stick together in times like that. And I think they should just exactly take that moral of the story, that um, in times we need each other, and we should always stick to each other and respect each other, you know? It's wonderful. Um, you know, Steve was saying today that a bomb went off just in front of here during the time, obviously during the period uh, before this building was here. And that kind of brought home how lucky we actually were and we are to be here today, do you know what I mean, in many ways. So it's wonderful to, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful achievement and it's, it's a huge honour to be premiering our film here. It's, it's lovely. Of course, and it's also, you know, what, like I've, I've said before, we, we, we've we seen a few films made about the Blitz, and obviously during that time period, I watched a load with me nana, you know, on a Sunday afternoon, or black and white versions of, oh blimey, governor, let's a cup of tea and let's stick together, um, which, you know, is very poignant, and also in that same respect, I just feel this particular film is told from a different perspective, and we get to see it through a different kaleidoscope, do you know what I mean? He, um, he, he, he took me for dinner and we met, we had a lovely conversation and he said um, I'm doing this film, there's a really small role which I'd love you to look at and I was like there's no such thing as small roles, there's only small actors so you know that's what Stanislavski says uh, and, and it, it was just an honour and a joy to work with him, he's someone who I've always wanted to work with, who I usually admire, I love his work and I think he's a wonderful man and you know hopefully long may this continue. It's just great, um, you know, and again, that's the kind of, when, when you work with Steve, there's no ego. Um, and he has a beautiful way of making everyone feel a part of the process. Because in that respect, as well as a director, he kind of opens up the floor and creates an atmosphere for us to play. But it's kind of the best idea on the day wins. Now that can be from one of the actors, 
that can be from a costume department, from the DOP, you know, whatever saves the scene the most is what he'll go with. Um, and for someone, have you seen the film? Yeah. Um, well, Paul Weller's fantastic. He's absolutely brilliant. Honest to God, he is. He's, he's, he just has this beautiful presence and this great charisma, um, and he's never acted before. And to me, he epitomizes that whole working class ethos of that time period, you know what I mean? That working man, that man who, who's struggling to raise his family, he's lost his wife and you know his daughter's taken over the household and he plays it beautifully, he just plays it so honestly and so openly. Uh, it's fantastic, it, re it really is. Um, it, honestly, uh, you know, as it, you do your job and, you, and you're, you're not sure who's going to see it. When you do independent films, you're not, you don't really know what kind of audience you're going to reach. Whereas, you know, one of the huge benefits of something like, like Apple, you know that it's going to be in a lot of living rooms. So now it's up to those people to, to turn it on and watch it. And I just hope personally, my own personal hope, should we say, is that people watch it and maybe strike up a conversation. And let's have a little look at, have we really learned anything from back then? It things very similar today, you know, we have wars and atrocities going on all around us and I think maybe hopefully this film will maybe help us reflect a little bit more and and get in touch with our humanity a little bit more because that's the message of it you know there's always hope and that's what that's what Elliot that's what George gives us hope yeah so uh, obviously I uh, got sent a script through for an audition uh, to play the role of Mickey Davis um, who, whose story I hadn't actually heard of before. So when I found out it was uh, based on a real person, uh, obviously did a bit more research on him and uh, what a guy. And uh, such an honor to be able to play him on the big screen. And I was kind of a bit outraged that I hadn't heard of him before that. Like he's someone that should have been taught about in school and uh, hopefully this, this film you know, makes people more aware of him and, and what he did for us. But yeah, I mean, that immediately was a, uh, a very exciting prospect <laughs> and uh, yeah I think uh, he's a bit of a genius and uh, it was incredible getting to work with him and just what a lovely guy too like me meeting him like in the lead up to, to doing the film um, just his passion for for this story uh, was was inspiring well I, w I was very briefly working on it it was uh, it was all uh, a bit of a whirlwind, but the whole thing was fantastic. I mean, Sasha was just absolutely lovely, like really, really fun to work with. Um, yeah, and I think our favorite moment was probably uh, in the bomb shelter where we are, uh, we're being bombed and we're singing a song, um, a song from Jaws as well. So that was a bit of a, a cool little thing for me. <laughs> they showed me the way to go home, but uh, yeah, uh, probably that just with all, everyone around all singing the song just in that moment of trying to raise everyone's spirits. Um, well, I think there's, there's a lot of problems going on in the world right now. And um, I mean, hopefully it will help people, like inspire people to maybe pull together and try and help out other people as well. Um, so yeah, I think there was a lot of community spirit and um, volunteering and uh, inspiring people around London during those, those times, so yeah. Hopefully it'll inspire people to help out where, where it's needed at the moment. I think it's amazing, it's super iconic and like I've said before in other interviews to do with this story, I think it's a pleasure to be a part of such a new telling of that time. I think the level of integration and diversity that's been brought to this film I think is very different and unique to any other one. So I think to be able to do a film like this and be in such an amazing building, it really just feels like a correction of time and able to be telling it this way. It was so amazing, I feel like, when I got the job, you know, it was, I was very overwhelmed and this is my first biggest job that I've had, but working with him, he's just an amazing man, he's such, like you said, a visionary and it lived up to everything I wanted it to be and it just challenged you but also gave you a lot of validation for knowing that your career is progressing in the way you want it to, but he's insane and he knows what he wants and he also puts a lot of faith in you to be able to deliver as well. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous and like I said, I'm so overwhelmed to be a part of such an amazing cast but I felt like everyone was made very secure by Steve to know that you have been given these characters to tell this story and I think all of us became very comfortable with knowing that and then therefore working together we were able to tell it as best as we could and also bring each character to life in our own way that Steve thought worked best for every single one of us so yeah, it was amazing. 
I think a lot of this stuff with the script, it was kind of telling for itself all the different things they've got to battle. But I felt like you can, even though if it's so drastic and it's a completely different time period that I've never experienced, I feel like you have to bring a level of whatever you've had in your life, a bit of resilience you've had to show, and just bring it onto a bigger scale. And I think it was ways of adapting that and you know looking into your own truths and knowing how you can tell that throughout the story.